Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting video. Yes, this is going to be an exciting one. Presenting Apple's MacBook Air M1. To be honest, this is my first ever Apple product. I have been very skeptical of buying any Apple products. And believe me, it was a difficult decision to make when we have got so many options like HP, Lenovo, Asus, Dell and with seemingly higher configurations at even lower cost. So on one hand we have got these higher configurations and the other hand we have Apple with its class and with its quality. So in order to convince myself I had to do a lot of research, do a lot of comparisons, get into specifications, dig into configurations and what not. So make sure to watch this video completely. Hope it helps anyone looking to upgrade their laptop to a better laptop. Apple's traditional white packaging is simple and classy. We have all the items tucked in perfectly. Talking about the accessories, we get a 2 meter USB-C cable and a 30 watt USB-C power adapter. Now it's time to unveil. Wow, it's lit, it's amazing. You can see this is the space gray variant, but they have got golden and silver variant as well. Now, as Apple says, this is their thinnest and lightest notebook, almost around 1.29 kgs. And no doubt, just look at this, how slim it is. The aluminium alloy body makes it light and durable. And you would notice that this laptop doesn't have any fan. Talking about the specifications, Apple says M1 is the first personal computer chip built using cutting edge 5 nanometer process technology and is packed with astounding 16 billion transistors, the most Apple has ever put into a chip. So you can see a lot of effort has been put by Apple into making this M1 chipset. In fact, during the initial testing, it was found to be 3x faster than Intel. That means three times faster than the Intel chips. Talking about the CPU cores, it comes with eight core CPU and seven core GPU. Now, if you are running CPU intensive operations, if you are doing multitasking, you should have a good CPU configuration. And with eight core CPU, this is definitely going to help you. With seven core GPU, you will have good rendering and graphic support. So if you are into gaming, you can play those high resolution games without any glitch. Talking about the RAM or the memory, I have with me eight GB RAM but you can also get the 16 GB variant. Now, Apple says this is a unified RAM. What that means? Well, that means that everything is unified. It operates as a single unit. The data sharing between different components on the chip is really great. So there is no traffic or you can say the data transfer, the internal data transfer is fast. Even with 8 GB RAM, you will be surprised to find that it operates better than a 16 GB RAM on another laptop. That's how powerful unified memory is. Talking about the storage, well, it comes with different variants. There are 256 GB, 512 GB, 1 TB to 2 TB of storage. And this is all SSD. Now, if you are not sure what an SSD is, make sure to watch my video and find out. With SSD, you get to have better read and write operations. Read and write operations onto the disk is going to be faster. And obviously it helps in loading your operating systems or your programs much faster. Talking about the OS, we have got Big Sur, which is the latest OS from Mac. It is optimized for M1 chips. Talking about the display, well, Retina display with true tone, which means pixel density is really high and you get that crisp quality and the display experience is amazing. And it's comfortable for the eyes as well. I sit long hours on the laptop and uh, it does not bother my eyes. It is really comfortable. The Magic Keyboard provides a smooth typing experience. It's faster and uh, it will help you type faster. It's efficient 
and I'm saying this after having used a mechanical keyboard. I must say I am now a fan of a magic keyboard. I tend to make less errors and it definitely helps in my productivity. The Touch ID is well placed with the power button. It's instant and efficient. Now the trackpad has plenty of room and is well placed so you don't end up accidentally touching it while typing. You can pinch or zoom, swipe smoothly without any glitches. I have used Dell, Toshiba, Lenovo, HP and nothing compares to this trackpad which comes with MacBook Air M1. Talking about ports, it has two Thunderbolt or USB 4 ports which can be used for charging or as a display port and it can handle data transfers up to 40 Gbps through a USB-C. Also there is a 3.5 mm audio jack for microphone, earphones or headphones. The battery is built in, it's 49.9 watt hour lithium polymer battery. They claim up to 15 hours of wireless web access. So that's pretty decent. But I must say that I have used different softwares for video editing and the video editing software tends to drain your memory. So watch out for that. The webcam is 720 pixel FaceTime HD camera. So it's not that great, but these inbuilt cameras generally don't have good resolution. Well, it comes with a 90 days of complimentary technical support and a one year limited warranty. That's about it. Why should one buy this notebook? Well, if you are performance savvy, if you are looking for good performance and if you're running heavy softwares for video editing or programming, machine learning and so on, this would definitely help you. I mean, the moment you flip open the notebook, you would realize that how fast it is. And as soon as I flip open the notebook, the session resumes. Now that is surprisingly very fast compared to the rest of the laptops. And I have been running some video editing softwares. I have been doing some programming and still there's hardly any glitch or delay in the operation. The other thing which I noticed in this laptop is that it does not have any fan. In fact, it is so silent. Sometimes you feel that it's not running. I mean, that's the beauty of it. It's running, it's running very silently and it hardly heats up. Now, if you have decided to buy it, let me also tell you there are some things to consider. There are some things to keep in mind. Firstly, this is M1 chipset. Now, M1 chip is relatively new. Earlier, we used to have MacBook with Intel chip. And so many softwares were created in such a way that it would run on Intel chips. So you will find that there are many softwares out there which does not support the M1 chip. Now in that case, what you have to do is you have to use a software called Rosetta. Now Rosetta helps you in running those softwares which are not yet M1 ready. But still I found that not many softwares are capable of running on Rosetta and you will still have some issues. But with M1 being so popular and so much pushed by Apple, I think sooner you'll have all the softwares supporting M1 and you would be able to use any softwares on this laptop. The other thing which you would note is there are only two Type-C ports in this laptop. What that means is that if you want to connect an external display or you want to connect a SD card reader, you would require a USB hub. That means that you will have to shell around 4 to 6K more on that. So time for the verdict. Well, as I said earlier that I had to convince myself into buying this laptop and I must say I am pleased and it stands to its expectations. Being a first time Mac OS user, it was difficult for me to adjust to the key layout, finding the shortcuts and the whole accessibility part. I'm getting used to it. But I must say that MacBook has been a game changer for me. It has really helped me a lot. So this is definitely a value for money deal. If you are someone looking for performance, you want to run video editing softwares, you want to do a lot of programming on your laptop, this laptop is definitely going to help you a lot. It will up your productivity and that's how it is. Believe me, it will be a game changer for you. Finally, if you really like my content and you want to support me, do it by subscribing it and smash that like button. Do share it. Thanks for watching.